Hey, you're watching Deadpool and Friends from WonderCon Part 3. No. That's right, man. Joe Kelly, my show. Hey everyone, this is Nate with part three of our WonderCon series. Uh, what happened on Sunday is Axel Alonso had a panel discussion called Marvel, a Canadian, a Wakandan, and Axel walk into a bar. What do I all have in common? It's Deadpool. So it wasn't all just Deadpool, it was a bunch of stuff, but it was basically a bunch of Q&A. Uh, so I tried to get video of uh, all the Deadpool questions and their answers. Uh, and that's what this is. Also sitting in was Sean Crystal and Nick Dragota, who I guess used to draw uh, ecstatic and age of century or may still be dried in. I don't know. Sorry, Nick. Uh, so here it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and show most of that, including a super awesome question that Mike and I, uh, ask. And of course, if you guys want to help out with our endeavor on that, stay tuned to the channel. We'll have something new coming up here within about a week or so. Check it out. With a Martha Stewart. Many of you might recognize it from Martha Stewart. You might see me on Martha Stewart. He's not wearing the sweater. He had a really great sweater. And this is Sean Crystal, who uh, is an artist on uh, Deadpool and Deadpool Team Up and sort of Deadpool Woo! stuff. Um, before we start, I have a serious question. My seven year old son and my seven year old nephew are engaged in a heated debate about whether Electra is good or bad. So I need to show of hands is Electra good? Okay, one, two, three. It, there's no gray area. She's either good or bad. Is she bad? Bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The bad happens. So there you go. <laughs> For seven year olds, you're either good or you're bad. <laughs> so let me send some very important text. Because I already wrote she's bad. So now, that's why I agree with all of you all. <laughs> You're already operating at a lot of disadvantage. So this could be a special panel, but conducted more as a Q&A for you guys about upcoming stuff in the Marvel Universe. And uh, for to incentivize you to ask questions, I have Nick and Sean studiously drawing. Best question will receive a drawing from, from Sean of Deadpool. And the worst question will receive a uh, <laughs> Duke by Nick Vergata. So, Choose your questions carefully. I'm getting that dude. Um, I guess I'll just start by saying that uh, you know it's, we're looking forward to an exciting year of Marvel. Um, you know, right now if you're uh, reading much of what's going on in the Marvel universe. We're engaged in Siege, uh, which is an event that brings you know Dark Reign to a conclusion and, and tees up a, a very interesting new era for the Marvel universe. Uh, concurrently, in X Men, we're engaged in Second Coming, which is a storyline that brings to a close. Um, at least four to five years worth of stories in one macro event. Um, there will be deaths, uh, two major deaths, not a dry eye in the house. And at the end of this, we'll have a Marvel Universe um, where you'll see more interaction between the the, uh, the Avengers and the Marvel Universe and the X-Men. Um, uh, lots of it. So if you're a fan of either or both universes, this is a good time to be jumping on board. Um, how many out there like Deadpool? Woo! Yeah. There you go. Um, now, some people seem to think we're putting out too much Deadpool products. <laughs> Who would say that? Deadpool, Deadpool, Lady Deadpool, the Deadpool Kid, Kid Deadpool, and Godpool is too much. Uh, so anyone have any questions? Anybody want to say, I think you're putting out too much Deadpool. It's just too much. Then don't buy it. Buy it, don't buy it. So that, but you're not going to get worse questions drawing if you ask that. Okay, just, just for starters. So, um, I'd like to open the floor for questions. We've got a mic back there. Uh, I can video on this. Right. Right. Okay, we'll video on this. And uh, remember, best question is a drawing of Deadpool. Worst question is a drawing of Duke, who's my favorite character. So. Come on, Sean, make a fool for me. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know and yeah. you can't, two people can't ask the question at the same time. Oh, we have the same question. Yeah. Same question? Yeah. Same, same okay. question. Right. So we're noticing with Deadpool team up, you see me going in a lot of different writers, new writer every time, which is something really interesting. Uh, so what about the possibility of, say, two semi-YouTube celebrities, guys, who when you search YouTube, uh, Deadpool on YouTube, <laughs> the first two people uh, popping up are this guy. And this guy, 7,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers, oh, ma million, five views, a million views. How about giving us a chance uh, yeah, to write that little team up? We actually already have a story and a bunch of jokes. Yeah. You want a little pitch on it? <laughs> you can't pitch me legally. You can't pitch me yet. But I'll tell you this much. Um, if you email me, okay. at, at marvel.com, come up to me after, and I'll talk 
talk with you about the actual process. Send me a thread Excellent. off the YouTube thing. If I laugh, then maybe you've got a shot. You'll laugh. <laughs> You'll laugh. You'll laugh. You'll laugh. Okay, this one's going to be great. Especially if we get Sean Crystal dry. Yeah. This could be up. Yeah. You're a man, Sean. All right. All right. All right. Hey, thank you. Thank you. All right. yeah. Okay, I have a real question this time. All right. uh, uh, one of my favorite books in the Marvel Universe is X Factor. I think Peter David does an absolutely uh, fantastic job with it. With Second Coming, uh, will uh, multiple man Zyra be playing any part in that? They tend to not be in a whole lot of the mega events they were in the Zaya Complex and things like that. But, uh, can you shed any light on that? Um, the role, they will have a role that will be peripheral. I mean, all humans are affected by the events of Second Coming. Um, but due to a storybook, uh, certain ones are at advantage because they're affected geographically. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones that live in San Francisco are going to be most profoundly affected because, the, you know, hell comes to San Francisco. That's not a, that's not a reveal. The bad stuff comes to San Francisco. So, you know, I, I grew up in San Francisco, so I brought, I was the one who wanted to bring it to San Francisco. <laughs> like, you know, you got the, you got Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, Avengers, everybody's in New York. You got what, West Coast Avengers? And they're all in LA, which, LA is lame, but they <laughs> If San Francisco is in so much danger, should we get going? <laughs> <laughs> if you live in the mission, my pledge is no Mexicans, we'll get rid of my watch. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not sure you did say, yeah, no, San Francisco can be in danger, and you know, the events that take place in the Marvel U, the X-Men are going to become more and more um, sort of entrenched in San Francisco. I get asked all the time, is it, is it, is it, is it uh, temporary, is it permanent? They're, they're there to stay. You know, until further notice, or I get fired, or something. Um, <laughs> long and short of it is that you know they are, they are linked to San Francisco. This is their this is their patch of life, um, and uh, you know they move for the Warriors, the 49ers, they deal with Taco Rio, the rest of that. Yeah. All right, thanks. Uh, hello. I have a question. Uh, I have to come up with yeah. the topic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sean's a little small. <laughs> Size doesn't matter that much. What you do? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh shoot! I, I personally think Hitmonkey would be great as a digital comic. Um, but uh, of course, most important question for you guys: uh, What do you guys like for Christmas? I'm not about Friday. And, and I guess a quick follow up to that: Is there any uh, completely unrelated? Is there any chance that we're going to see uh, Deadpool get a permanent love interest in any of his books? I figure it's kind of hard with continuity between four, eight different books going on at one time. Uh, but is there any plans to ever do anything like that? No, this year he's probably gotten more play than any other year ever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, any plans on having him settle down with someone for a short while? There's no plans. Um, I mean, Deadpool's MO is that if a halfway attractive woman pays him any attention, he's automatically. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just the way it goes. Fuck me all. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, it's not far fetched. I mean, he, he's, he's, he has ties to a number of outlaw and um, all the rest. Um, but uh, I don't know, he, he tends to work better as a bachelor. You know, yeah. getting lucky and, and steady dating are really different things. Yeah. Uh, trust me. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, long and short of it is, yeah, there's no immediate plans. But, you know, nothing's up. Nothing's okay. impossible. And uh, Christmas presents? A Porsche 911 Carrera. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a little one, but. Alright, let's go with my little drawing. Thank you. Um, as we all know, the original, well, Deadpool fans know, the original run of Deadpool was a bit darker, as written by Joe Kelly. Whereas the, uh, the new life that has been given to Deadpool seems to focus more on the uh, comedic element. My question is, do you foresee in the future some kind of a life-altering event for Deadpool that will make him reevaluate his existence, maybe change his direction a little bit? That's the best question so far. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Um, yeah, we're aware of how we've totally shifted him, but we feel it's an extension of Reeboks and natural progression. Um, in publishing, there's swings. There's pendulum swings. There's times when you need to change it up character. Um, my feeling, when, when, when I came on the second competitor, there was a book called Cable Deadpool. Excellent I, stuff. I, I know, I know if I was canceling it, you were one of the many people who wanted to kill me when I did that. But the reason I did that was because we had a book that was circling about 20,000 with two characters. I wanted two books that were circling at 50,000 or more, which is what we got out of Cable and Deadpool. In Deadpool's case, we got seven books. <laughs> you know, they just, um, maybe a bit too much, I'll even admit it, but my short is it, they're selling. 
Um, Deadpool right now is unique because he scratches an itch that I don't think any other character is scratching. Um, there's an element of humor that you can bring to that book that can't be found elsewhere. Maybe it's for a little bit. But then again, the type of humor you find in Great Lakes Avengers is a lot different than the humor you'll find in either the two core Deadpool books. I think that they <coughs> hit different notes. Um, so yeah, there's a point at which Deadpool might need to be darkened. I've got, believe it or not, more, more Deadpool stuff down the road um, that may scratch that itch. Um, but, um, but the larger question is, yes, characters need to change and evolve. If you keep them static, that's when they die. Right. Uh, thank you so much. That's what. What's your name? Daniel. Okay, so far you've got a drawing, right? So, we'll see. <laughs>